All right, guys, we are here for a small mini book haul plus book accessories. So I just got this package in today. I've been waiting for this so I can put all the stuff together. So let's open this up. The packaging is super duper cute. It is an Instagram page called Book in a Sweater. They were doing a three for $45 deal on Tuesday, uh, last Tuesday. It took a little bit to ship. And I said, I'm not passing that up because that is super cheap for book sleeves. So if you don't know what a book sleeve is, oh, and they have it wrapped in some really cute tissue paper that says, thank you. I'm going to try to save this tissue paper. But a book sleeve is basically something that protects your book. I have a few of them. I love them. So for example, this is my current read right now. It ends with us by Holly Hoover. And I keep it in this book sleeve that I got. This one is from Book Barns Galore. I will link any page I mention down below. I love Book Barn and they even have this cute little leather stamp here with their logo. Tons of different prints. You can get it with a pocket, without a pocket. These come really in handy because if you put your book in your bag, you know, you're always risking the pages folding up, the cover getting damaged. So this just gives a little extra protection if something spills. I mean, it's not 100% because there is an opening up here, but it's less likely to damage. There is padding within this fabric. It is not just fabric. There is a foam padding in here. Um, and then some have pockets. I do have some that have pockets and you can put like your, your cell phone, a pen, and keys whatever and head out the door instead of having to lug like a backpack or a book you know if you're going just to the park quick or and you just want to read or i'll walk to my picnic my picnic i meant to say if you're going to a picnic or if i just want to walk to my front porch you know so since they were doing this deal i said i'm gonna buy a few more because options are always good and then they do come in different sizes because obviously there's different size books so this is like the standard. I have a big one. I have a mini one. The mini one actually fits my Kindle perfectly as well. So since she was doing the three for 45 deal, this is the one that fits the Kindle. Super duper cute. I love the green on the inside. This like screamed summer slash fall to me. Cause you know, yellow definitely screams summer to me, but sunflowers are definitely more like a fall flower. So I absolutely love this. So I got this one as part of the three for 45. And then this is the medium size for standard books and the large size. And I did get a pocket because I love adding pockets. Oh, she threw in a free little gift. Be kind. That's so cute. It's a bookmark. Because um, like I said, I will put my phone in here, my key, and just walk out the door with these. So this one is a Golden Girls print. If you guys have seen hauls in the past, I usually am rocking Golden Girls shirts. I absolutely love Golden Girls. And it says come visit us at St. Olaf because that's, you know, from Rose and Shady Pines Retirement Home, which is where Dorothy's always threatening to send her mother. Uh, so I just thought it was really cute. You have the palm trees, the little beverages, and you have the main characters on there. I love how Dorothy looks like she's mid-eye roll. <laughs> so I grabbed this one. And then the large one, I got the Mean Girls print. So is butter a carb? Do you guys remember this? October 3rd um glenn coco she doesn't even go here and we wear you know they wear shirt the pink shirts we wear pink on wednesdays so i got a kick out of these and that was an awesome deal because they usually can go anywhere between 20 to 30 a book sleeve depending on the size so three for 45 is a great great deal and then she threw in the bookmark so now the books well yeah i guess i'll talk about the books next Amazon was doing a deal. It was spend $25 and get $5 off on select items. And I tell you guys all the time, I follow tons of Instagram bookstagrammers. This one is not actually a bookstagrammer. She is just a, a hauler. She just shows, she shops at, at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart, Target, and she shows what she buys. Or sh not even what she buys, she'll just show what's in the store. It's doing it on dimes. She tries to find like clearance finds, but she did actually just make a new books bookstagram account because she was always talking about books on her Instagram. So I will link both down below. And she's the one that said a lot of books were included in the five off 25 deal. So I said, you know what? I have a lot of books on my Amazon wish list. I usually wait for other people to buy it for me, but I said, you know what? Since I can get it on deal right now, let me buy myself three books. Well, let me buy myself books to equal out $25. So these were the two books that I have been wanting the most, so I picked them up. The Silent Patient, I have heard nothing but amazing things. I am super pumped to read this. Basically, it is a, I believe it's a man, or is it a, a woman? 
Oh my God. I'm, you know what? I'm going to read the back of these. From what I took of it as, it's a patient. I don't know if it's a man or a woman that is in a coma and the pa not the parents, the family is deciding whether or not to turn off life support. And the patient's mind is 100% there. They understand everything the family is saying, everything the family is deciding. And they are trying to scream out to them, I'm still here. But their body is completely like gone like they have no connection to their body so i was like wow that sounds absolutely amazing so the back of it it says over four million copies sold worldwide i believe it it says alice Alyssa bernson's life is seemingly perfect until one night when her husband gabriel returns home late from work and alicia shoots him five times in the face and never speaks another word alicia's refusal to talk or give any kind of explanation turns a domestic tragedy into a mystery that captures the public imagination and she the silent patient is hidden away from the tabloids at the grove a secure psychiatric unit in north london oh so it's completely different from what i thought it was criminal psychotherapist theo faber is captivated by alicia's story and jumps at the opportunity to work with her his determination to get her to talk and unravel the mystery of why she shot her husband will take him down a path more unexpected and more terrifying than he ever imagined. So I was completely wrong. Hmm. Now I'm like, is there another book out there like that? If you guys know about a book about someone who is in a coma and cannot speak for themselves, I'm about to Google this. Let me know because I thought that's what this book was. Totally fine. The end. This still sounds amazing. I will love reading this. It says $17.99 on here. Um, on Amazon, it was on sale for like 11 So definitely a good deal. And then this one I've been wanting to read a long time. This follows a love story. And it's like a six years in the making. Yeah, it says right here. Told over the course of six years and one weekend. Every summer after is a gorgeous, nostalgic look at love and the people and choices that mark us forever and i know a friend who specifically read this book and was obsessed with it so many books to grand pages have been talking about this book so this book was as it was also around the 10 11 dollar range so these two books did not equal 25 dollars; they were only about like 22 dollars. so i said man i gotta get another book so another book on my list and this one was down to seven dollars on amazon which is amazing on here it says it's 16 dollars so I got the three books went over just over the 25 and I got five dollars off. So these three books were extremely cheap um, because let me see 22 plus 7 28 took five dollars off. It was 23 dollars for those three books, which is a really good deal. Um, I have heard nothing but amazing things about Emily Henry. I have a few books of hers that I want that are on my um, wish list. Uh, what's the other one? Book Lovers. Everyone's been talking about it. But this one says it's a breath of fresh air, steamy, smart, and perceptive. And it says, Augustus Everett is an acclaimed author of literary fiction. January Andrews writes a best-selling romance. When she pens a happily ever after, he kills off his entire cast. They are polar opposites. In fact, the only thing they have in common is that for the next three months, they're living in neighboring beach houses, broke and bogged down with writer's block. Then one hazy evening, one thing leads to another, and they strike a deal designed to force them out of their creative ruts. Augustus will spend the summer writing something happy and January will pen the next great American novel. She takes him on field trips worthy of any rom-com montage and he'll take her to interview surviving members of a backwoods death cult. Everyone will finish a book and no one will fall in love. Really. So I'm curious to read this. I know people said really good things about it. So that is the three books I got. These are more on the standard side. So these are probably going to fit in the saint olaf one um but the big one is really good for a really big book you know like those 600 page books that i'm talking about um so yeah guys definitely go check out um uh, what is it what is it again book in a sweater so these are basically book sleeves but her instagram name is book in a sweater if you have never heard of these before they really do extra protection on your books they're really worth it for me if you're someone who really loves to read um and then i just figured i would mention one other small business you guys know i love supporting small businesses so I talk about her all the time when books come up. Gigi and Bo is an amazing artist. She draws all her designs for her bookmarks. Um, and she does really, really cool pop culture ones like these right here. These are specifically Gilmore Girls. If you guys recognize the Stars Hollow, the Dragonflies in the Luke Diner. And these are always laminated with a tassel. That's how I order it. You can get it just cardstock. You can get just the tassel. 
um i absolutely they are such high quality i love these so she does like you know like famous movies famous tv shows and then you know like right here i'll show you more this is lorelei i smell snow that is like her uh design right there where the characters don't have a full face and i kind of love it this is my gryffindor one because i'm a huge harry potter fan but she also oh this is friends i literally got the central perk one i'll be there for you and the door monica's door because i was obsessed but she also just does like spring prints like right here i just have a bunch of sunflowers um she does book stacks these are some of her cod stark example ones um so yes she even did a special for halloween and they were coloring bookmarks so you can color these in so she does have a halloween drop that's coming out soon so she does like seasons and holidays and famous tv shows definitely go check her out i love her designs she's an absolutely amazing person uh, i talk to her personally all the time on uh instagram and she's just like i love supporting small business you're really supporting someone's dream i say that all the time you know obviously i'm still gonna buy things from amazon um because you know a girl's got to save a penny but i do support small businesses all the time so like i said i will link all the pages i mentioned down below book barn galore book in a sweater gg and bow uh doing it on dimes and i will link her bookstagram as well if you guys love to read definitely check out these companies definitely check out um her bookstagram and other bookstagrams i absolutely love them they really do they do really good reviews on books i talk about the books i'm currently reading over on my instagram as well it's not just a bookstagram because bookstagram is devoted just to books and my my instagram is taylor marie's journey and it's everything it's just my life but i do talk about the books i read so definitely consider following me down there as well everything will be linked down below but yeah you guys tell me if you've read any of these books i'm really curious to hear your opinion if you guys love book sleeves or not um but yeah that's basically for this video if you like the video give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm you know comment down below share it out subscribe if you're not already subscribed but that's it for this video guys be safe